Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got some great launches to share with you today. Let's start with a piece of AWS history. We announced Amazon's simple queue service, SQS, in late 2004. At first, some developers wondered why their bookstore, as many saw us at the time, was offering message queues, but others realized that they were essential building blocks for scalable systems. We've made many enhancements to SQS over the years, and it remains an important building block. The most recent change is a brand new console. When creating a queue, you can easily select the queue type, standard or FIFO, the access policy, encryption, and other configuration parameters. You can also set up a dead letter queue for messages that cannot be delivered. After a queue has been created, you can manage SNS subscriptions, Lambda triggers, tags, and more. Check out the new SQS console today. We've also made some major upgrades to the Elastic File System, EFS, console, focused on making it even easier for you to get started. As a quick refresher, EFS is a scalable, elastic, cloud-native file system. So you can now be up and running in as little as two clicks. You provide a name, choose a VPC, and you click Create. Your file system is ready right away. The default settings give you general purpose performance mode, bursting throughput mode, 30-day lifecycle management, encryption at rest, and automatic backups. Of course, you also have the option to customize these settings and many others. You can apply tags, change the performance or throughput modes, select alternate KMS keys, and configure IAM roles. There's a new summary view with searching and customization. There's an improved detail view with multiple tabs and a cool graph that breaks down your usage by storage class. The access point workflow has been revamped and is now even easier to use access points to manage access to your EFS file system. And finally, you can get to your CloudWatch metrics from within the console, including a new throughput utilization metric. Once again, check out this new console today. And finally, I mentioned automatic backup for EFS earlier, and I want to tell you just a bit more. As of July 17th, all EFS file systems you create using the console are automatically backed up with AWS Backup. The backup uses the recommended daily settings of daily backups and a 35-day retention period. You can also check a box or make a single API call and enable the same backup for your existing file systems. If you don't need or want automatic backups, you also have the option to disable them. Under the covers, this sets up a backup plan that includes a rule and also references a backup vault. The default settings will cover most use cases, but you can customize them as desired. That's it for this time around. We love your feedback. Always look forward to it. Send us an email, tweet at me, leave us a comment. I'd love it if you subscribe to our channel, click the bell for some notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.